Hello everyone and welcome to Esquire Weekly, our look at some of the biggest issues that appeared on our website this week. From celebrity news, style trends, gear advice, or the latest in entertainment and culture, we've got you covered. So without further ado, let's start the show. Looking for something to wear this Dubai World Cup? Ted Baker has you covered. Inspired by an English country garden, the new Ted Baker Spring Summer Collection is your safest bet when it comes to looking stylish in the Dubai sun. It's the little touches that set the new collection apart from the sartorial crowd, including subtle embroidered details, contrasting trims, and little messages hidden inside the garments. For those of you unawares, the Dubai World Cup is one of the richest horse races in the world. And while it attracts the eyes of racing aficionados, it also attracts some of the country's most stylish individuals. Oh, and if you're heading down this year, be sure to take part in the best dressed competition. It's going to be judged by your favorite men's magazine. Yes, the Squire Middle East. Elsewhere this week, the world's first flying car has gone up for sale. That's right, the PAL V, which is a pretty terrible name for a flying car, by the way, was announced at the Geneva Motor Show this week. And while it lacks the retro charm of Doc Brown's flying DeLorean, it is the first flying car to officially go on sale to the public. While it looks more like a helicopter sat on top of a tricycle, it's still a big technological achievement. The car has a top speed of 100 miles per hour on the road and 112 miles per hour in the sky. It can cruise up to 11,000 feet above the Earth's surface and has an estimated range of 350 miles. The car starts at 400,000 US dollars, but you'll need a pilot's license and access to an airstrip to buy one. Breitling has announced an all-new Navitimer 8 collection. While the brand is better known for its chronographs and tool watches, those are not its best sellers. It's the vintage-inspired watches that do the best, says its brand new CEO. And so Breitling is doubling down on that aesthetic. The Navitimer 8 is so named after the department responsible for producing cockpit timers and early pilot wristwatches back in the 1940s. The new range features a detailed back face and the famous Flying V logo has been replaced by an earlier iteration of the logo. There are five individual models in the collection, including a world time model, and all are easily identifiable by a shared scalloped bio-directional rotating bezel. What's that magazine one of the world's biggest YouTubers is reading? That's right, it is Esquire Middle East. Casey Neistat, one of the world's most prolific vloggers on YouTube, graced the cover of our magazine this month, and the YouTube star opened up to Esquire in our cover feature, mentioning that he was about to embark on his most ambitious project to date. Neistat said a few things, exclusively to Esquire, of course, including the fact that he was about to get the keys to a new 10,000 square foot headquarters in downtown Manhattan. He described his new video content as a daily show, not a daily vlog. Of course, you can read the whole story and see the exclusive images of when we took Casey Neistat sandboarding on our website. Heston Blumenthal is coming to Dubai. The experimental chef is set to open his first UAE restaurant at the Royal Atlantis in 2019. The man behind the fat duck, which generally sits in top five of the world's restaurant lists, will be bringing his own brand of crazy cuisine to Dubai under the moniker Dinner by Heston Blumenthal. The new restaurant will be built at sister development to Atlantis on the Palm, which is currently being constructed on the Crescent of the Palm and also scheduled to open in 2019. You can expect his usual crazy creations such as snail porridge and bacon and egg ice cream. But we also reckon the British chef will delve into popular Middle Eastern foods. Snail shawarmas, perhaps? Maybe. So that's been another episode of Esquire Weekly. Now that you're all caught up, be sure to check out some of our other stories on EsquireME.com. Don't forget to subscribe and let us know what you think of the show in the comments. See you next week.